Welcome, siblings. Welcome to the Hippie Report. I'm a little out of sorts here. I just threw this shit on. Boy, I didn't do very good with my rag. There. So, listen. I, uh, I just jumped on here to do a quick little show for you. Um, uh, just to kind of say hello for the afternoon. What's up, Martin? What's up, Bunk? Good to see everybody. What up, Wayne? Pour myself just a little splash of bourbon. Not a sponsor! Not a sponsor! I haven't yelled all day. Can you believe that shit? I can barely believe it. You know, I didn't do any effort toward the lighting in this episode, and I feel like it might be some of the more dynamic and interesting lighting we've had. Fuck. Good day, sibling. Uh, Bunk, I hope you're doing really well, dude. You sure do deserve it. Sorry, I just, I feel really frazzled for this episode. Do you recognize the bottle? Well, I, I must say, don't buy it just because you see it on this episode. Uh, if, you, if you recognize the bourbon I'm drinking, it's happenstance. The fuckers were on sale. Uh, they're not part of our community and shit. Yeah, sorry. I've been in sort of a weird, uh, all over the place uh, kind of mode lately. Um, been going through some personal things. And um, that always fucking throws me for a loop. And then today, god damn it, can I just complain for a second to my friends and shit? Wayne? Bunk, Martin, listen to this fucking shit. Um, I'm trying to do a photo thing for my uh, for a project, and it's a liquid light thing. And um, how I decided to do it was shoot a 4K video and then pull out frames I like for the actual photos that I'm, I'm doing. Um, that just gives me all of the options, as you might imagine. Um, it's so fucking frustrating but sometimes when I try and download a video from my phone to my computer, it just won't go. I have no idea what the fuck. I have to do some research and become an expert in some bullshit today. It's just not what my life is supposed to be. You know what I mean? When I said I want to be an artist when I was younger and dumber, even dumber, uh, I said I, I want to wake up every day and try and overcome computer problems and filing errors. Also, I want to keep extensive records. That's what I said when I was a kid. When I say I want to be an artist, what I mean is I want to keep extensive records and, and face a lot of computer problems. What's up, Randy? What's up, Hind? I'm in a fucking mood! But that's why we smoke weed. We smoke weed to get out of moods. Uh, today I'm smoking some shit called um, uh, Gorilla Glue. One of the most popular, one of the most popular strains of weed around. Gorilla Glue number four, of course. Uh, that's like the the big one, man. The reason people like it is it gets you wicked stoned. It's mostly an indica. Um, it's supposed to like Gorilla Glue you to the couch kind of vibe. Don't do that to me, though. And um, growers like it because uh, the buds are real thick and, and usually, like, pretty, I don't know, pretty big buds on that particular strain. What's up, Cassie? So, uh, there's always Gorilla Glue laying around the, com the community. <laughs> What's up, Kirk? Making art all day? low-key frustrated about it that's my vibe you know because I love my job but it's surprising how much of it is just like the hardest shit I ever do and not always in the best way if you want to lighten my load and shit like that you can Venmo me some bucks or whatever and I will humbly accept them what's that Wayne sounds delicious Smoking Pine X, some kind of hybrid. 
Pine X. This sounds good though. I like anything with like a flavor note built into the name. Um, I like shit like uh, Gorilla Glue, you know, that's sort of fun. But it doesn't really tell you much about the flavor, it tells you about kind of the effect, right? I like shit like, uh, oh, Lemon Haze and fucking uh, Grape, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. But there was this, um, there was this one strain that came through town a few years back, and it was called Purple Urkel. Purple Urkel was one of my all-time favorite weeds, man. What up, Michael? I hope you're doing very well. It's just after 420. Hello, Rachel. Oh, darling, I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day today. Um, I hope everybody that's allowed to smoke weed is smoking weed. It's a great time. Cassie, you like that purple shit too? Man, I like some nice purple shit, you know? I'm just all self-conscious about my little pocket square situation today. Am I showing too much goddamn pocket square? Is it just a whole lot? Why am I so self-conscious about it? I don't know. It's one of these kind of situations. Usually I just kind of grab it and stuff it the fuck in here and quit thinking about it. But today I'm having trouble. Oh, see that? Well, that looks way cooler. The less I think about it, the cooler it looks. And that is the fucking trial with that bullshit. <laughs> ah, I can't do it. I got too stunned. Now I'm too self-conscious about it. Oh, God damn it. Matches my tie and everything. If you get all in your head about it, you just can't do it at all, man. You look like some kind of, I don't know. Like, back years ago, there was this... Um, I don't really see people doing it as much anymore, but there was this style of, like, very purposefully messy hair. Somebody who had, like, hair that was messy looking, but it was so strategic, and it took them so long to do it that it almost makes it uncool. Because really they're just seeming, they're trying to seem like they don't care. And, uh, it's so hard for me, man, because I care like a motherfucker about all kinds of silly shit. And, um... I think if, I like especially something like a goddamn pocket square, like this, uh, you know, I wanna just like, be like, there. I wanna just put it right in here, you know? And then I wanna just like, stop thinking about it immediately. I don't know. It's a weird thing to talk about. But you know what, what the fuck is this show? Eloquently disheveled, yes. Yes, that's it, man. I think my, one of my goals, one of my fashion goals, and I, maybe I just do have some fashion goals, but one of my fashion goals is um, I want to own stuff that, like, didn't cost me much, and if it gets messed up, I don't mind because it's cheap, but also, like, looks good and is simple enough to mix and match with all the other shit I own. That's kind of my goal. So really, I only got, like, I don't know, three or four good shirts like this, everything else is a little bit of a struggle. You'll see. This is 34 episodes. Go back and see the shit I'm wearing. I'm really trying to make it seem different, but, like, it's this. It's basically just this. I don't want to just show up in a goddamn hoodie or whatever. You know? I don't, want, I don't want you to feel like I'm not making any effort at all. That doesn't seem right. So I try and dress up like a, like a host should, you know, for a show. And then the show is just me getting high. I'm thinking about doing some... Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about doing some more stuff with this show. Since people are watching it and everything. I'm thinking about, like, um, since it's, they're, they're showing this on um, TV now. They're showing this on the Longmont channel uh, here locally on, uh, on cable in Colorado. They're rebroadcasting these episodes uh, starting tonight, matter of fact, Monday night. And uh, probably like around midnight or something. <laughs> so, um, but um, if they keep running these, yo, I think like maybe I could just do all kinds of stuff. I can make little short films and just upload it and see if they put it up. 
I can't do anything they wouldn't approve of. That would be dishonest of me, you know. But like, I can I could do a whole episode that's sock puppets. I could do that. I could do a whole uh, hippie report with just a sock puppet and not. The goal would be like you do the sock puppet and it's just like it's it would look like this. Hey, welcome to the hippie report. Um, Let's see, uh, can he smoke weed? He can kind of smoke weed. Yeah, he'd figured it out, maybe. I'd have to get better at doing it. But um, I, that could be a good show. Especially if we just don't mention it and everybody stays cool about it. Because I could get down here and still read the thing, you know? Maybe i just get myself a special wall or something. I don't think that idea is beyond us at all. It's certainly not beneath us. There's nothing beneath us. Sometimes it seems like I'm laying starfish style on the bottom of a fucking ocean. <sighs> I don't think anybody's gonna beat me at the race to the bottom. Mm. I'll tell you what, I, I never forget how much I like bourbon. I just don't forget. Craig Corona, how are you doing out in California, man? Playing that Goddamn guitar. Neighbors complaining, no doubt, about, you know, all your nice guitar playing and uh, your lovely hair and all this. I hope you're doing very well, Craig. Um, if you were to, like, respond to me in the comments, it might take, like, a full-on 30 minute, 30 seconds to a minute for me to actually get to see it on my end. So if I don't respond immediately, I'm sorry about that. It's always a joy to do this show. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a liquid light demonstration for you guys a little bit later. Um, because I just, I got all the shit out and I got it framed just perfectly for this project I'm doing. And I can do it from my phone instead of the camera. So I think I might just have to do that for you. Would that be interesting? Would that be like um, kind of a sexy thing to do for you? I think it would. So I'm gonna try and do a liquid light show for you. And um, maybe, maybe like, um, maybe like uh, this evening, I guess. It's just gonna be me here tonight. And uh, you know, I don't have much to do, so. I uh, probably want to escape from work, but still feel like I'm accomplishing something. Um, as soon as I get this photo um, project completed and sent off, I can feel good about fucking off for the rest of my day. And uh, maybe I'll do like a live Facebook Live um, Liquid Light for you. I think that'd be super badass. If you're interested about Liquid Light, you can come over to my Instagram or you can uh, look up my website, man, andyepler.com. Uh, my short film, uh, stuff about my book, uh, songs and paintings and liquid light. When the quarantine's over, I'll be doing more liquid light in public spaces. And if you'd like that to happen at a party for yourself uh, or a friend or blah, blah, an event you're running, hit me up and I uh, bet we can work that out. Because I love doing it. I have a big overhead projector. And I've got like an HD projector. Depending on the venue. There's a good answer for that. So. Um, golly. My bowl's almost burnt out here. That seems like it was a short episode. Was it a short one? I don't know. This is my second bowl. I don't know. The hippie report. I hope nobody ever gets confused. We don't really report any news. This is not a news show. It's like a community smoke out show, basically. Mostly, I just think it's fun to do. I like to stop in the middle of my days a lot of the time and, um, and just grab myself a toke. And... Um, 
This, this is just me trying to meet you a little bit every once in a while. It's a frantic world out there right now. A lot of reactors out there. Not a lot of like taking it slow and steady going on. So, uh, you know, man, this is just my effort to try and slow us down a little bit. Hey, man, we are in quarantine. Have you tried weed? Have you tried bourbon? Have you, like... Ooh, they go together sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Greetings to all of you watching this on television. Um, you can reach me on Facebook. There's a Facebook page associated with this show called At The Hippie Report. And um, I'll be there, and you can find me. It'll look just like me. I'll be the guy on the picture. It'll be me and my bong. My bongs need to take a break because I broke the stem. Because I'm, I'm careless. No, I'm not careless. I'm not without care. I am somewhat graceless sometimes, and I'm working on that. But sometimes when I think it doesn't matter, I act without grace. And sometimes it costs me a goddamn bong stem. Is that the moral of today's uh, episode? Do we, do we do morals? No. We don't usually do morals to episodes. But um, today's moral is... Um, when you act without grace, you can almost assuredly only make mistakes. How about that? Is that a good thing? Did that help anyone? Was that smart or was it silly? Can it be like, can it be like a little, can it, can it be a little bit both? Here's how you vote. You can vote with your goddamn dollars in my Venmo account. I just paid my rent uh, today. And uh, so now I have like, get this, not very many dollars in my account. If you'd like to help me, if you'd like to fucking uh, keep my show going and stuff by like helping me keep paying my rent and shit, that's excellent. And I will take your dollars and I will like rub them. Well, I'll do whatever I, you know, I'll fucking, I'll probably like spend them. I'd really like to have like people earmark their money if they want that. They could be like, you can only spend this on, you know, bourbon or you can only spend this on weed or something. That's those are basically what I'm into. Those things. And beers. I'll drink beers. But mostly it's bourbon and weed. I'm doing a lot of art that has to do with uh, how society interacts with sexuality. Because I think that that's a really um, a challenging subject. And something I care about. Um having known a lot of people that have been victims of abuse, what have you. Um, so I've started doing more of my art about that topic. And one of the people I can always count on to like do whatever I need him to do is me. And so I've been doing more art that involves my own nudity, what have you. What's up, Craig? What's up, Taylor? And, um, and so that's, uh, that's another good reason to not be drinking beer all the time. So I'm mostly about drinking bourbon and wine. I love wine. And I love to smoke weed. And, and these are a few of my favorite things. Here's what I promise you. You can stay friends with me on Facebook and I'll probably never post anything very salacious here. <sighs> But Instagram is the place where I post a little bit more of the risky stuff. And um, my, my, my Ando page um, is basically just an echo page from my Instagram. So I wouldn't follow that either if you're easily offended. But uh, frankly, if you're easily offended, like, dude, is, this must be your first episode. So uh, welcome to the show. And we'll, we'll miss you when you're gone. And, you know, bless you on your journey. And... Um, we, we, do, we, do, we do not require your presence, but we, we would love to hang out again sometime. Oh, oh, offended people. We didn't mean to offend you. Lost connection with you there. Whatever. I was trying to satiate 
to fucking offended people and be kind. Mixed results anyway. Thank you very much for watching this stupid show. Uh, it doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you had some extra time and you saw some value where other people might not. Bless you. And uh, I send you forth on your journey uh, with a thousand yes voice blessings each. May you use what you need and distribute the rest. Thank you very much.